In this video, I want to talk about the key differences between cross-sectional data and time series data as a means of an introduction to the latter, an introduction to time series. Okay, so the idea which we've always spoken about in cross-sectional data is that there is some sort of population. And one of the assumptions, one of the gauss markov assumptions was that our sample of y and x constituted what we call a random sample. And a random sample essentially means that each individual within the population has an equal chance of being chosen. That, that's one of the properties of a random sample. And because of this fact, it is essentially the case that each observation is independent of each other observation. And because of that, our zero conditional mean assumption from the Gauss-Markov conditions essentially was that the expectation of ui given xi had to be equal to zero. In theory, if we were dealing with observations that weren't independent of one another, we would actually need to enforce the fact that the expectation of a given error, given some other individual's value of x, xj, also had to be equal to zero. But due to the fact that we can treat observations as being independent, we can essentially do away with this second condition when we're dealing with cross-sectional data. Time series data are quite different though. The idea here is that we can't really necessarily think about a population of data. The idea here is that we have what we call some sort of process, and this sort of process continues throughout time. And when we sort of see observations from that process, what we're essentially doing is we are essentially sampling that process at different points in time. So we might sample at a time t1, at time t2, all the way through to sort of time t, capital T. And if you were to think about a population in the sort of time series setting, what you would kind of be talking about would be talking about all the observations for all possible periods in time. And because that isn't a very tangible thing, we, we don't necessarily have all observations for all periods in time, it doesn't really make sense to talk about a population in the sort of time series setting. But notice that there is a key difference between time series and cross-sectional data because of the fact that we cannot assume that these samples which we take throughout time are independent of one another. And that's because essentially they're coming from the same process and they're coming from the same individual. So the idea here is that in time series data, we can't necessarily assume that this second assumption which we were able to do away with in cross-sectional data is necessarily true. So we actually have to be a little bit more strict with the way in which we sort of state our zero conditional mean uh, of errors assumption as well as a few other of the Gauss-Markov conditions in order to ensure that our OLS estimator is in fact unbiased. And actually we need to assume that the expectation of ut given all other x, so this could be j, and this is sort of for all values of j including the fact that j equals t, we have to have that this is equal to zero. So to summarize, it is this dependence of observations through time that motivates the need to re-examine the Gauss-Markov conditions in the case of time series data.